Hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Amanda and I am a novice fish keeper. So today I'm getting started on painting a background for my 36 bow front aquarium. I'm using acrylic paint, which was recommended online. One of the great things about using acrylic paint is that if you don't like it or if it doesn't work off, you can scrape it off with a razor blade. So here I go. This is where I made a mistake. I used some old tape I had to try to make a border, um, but my tape obviously kept ripping apart. So I focused on the edges and then blocking off the bottom part of the tank. So once I finished taping off the edges in the bottom, I decided to get started. So online they definitely recommend a roller brush, but I decided to use what I had at home, which included a sponge brush and a soft bristle brush. At this point, I started getting a little nervous about ruining my tank, but it was highly recommended online and I decided to just go for it. So I started with my soft bristle brush and used a couple tricks I learned from my dad. My dad is a painter and a couple things he always taught me was to make sure both sides of the brush are wet with paint and you wanna make sure the lines or the strokes go all in the same direction. So this is the fun part and it helps shows one of the benefits of painting the back of your tank black. So not only am I doing this to help the colors of my fish and my plants pop when you view it from the front side, it also helps eliminate unwanted light. So as you watch this video, you can see that um, as I'm painting this layer of paint, um, it starts to block out the light that is currently inside. Some of the benefits of blocking out extra or unwanted light in your tank um, include the fact that too much light can actually stress your fish out. Your fish need sleep just like we do, and one of the ways we do that is by limiting or timing their exposure to light. Another big piece of limiting unwanted light is to reduce the the growth of unwanted algae and bacteria. So once I completely cover the back of the aquarium once, I go back to make sure all of the strokes are going in the same direction and cover up any thin parts that I notice. From the inside, it looks absolutely amazing. It looks flat with no appearance of lines. So I think as of now, I would suggest a soft bristle brush as a method to paint the back of your tank. So my plan for this tank is to create a tropical freshwater community tank. Some of the fish I have in mind now are a centerpiece fish, probably a male beta. If not, I might consider some bright colored female betas and create a sorority tank. Um, I really do love the rummy nose tetras and dano fish. So those are both schooling fish that I think would really pop against the background. And I still would add some loaches, maybe some cherry shrimp and some snails. So I still need to do a little bit research on the loach, but the community tank is the goal. And I would also like to make this a planted tank so that it can self cycle. Like I mentioned earlier, I am a novice fish keeper, so if you have suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I'm really excited to become a part of this hobby and this community. Thanks for watching.